American Horse is a famous Oglala Sioux chief born in the Black Hills, South Dakota in 1840. He was the son of Sitting Bear. As a child, his name was Manishi, can't walk. His father, Sitting Bear, did not hope that a formidable warrior would ever come out of his son. American Horse, as the leader of the Oglala, was a consistent supporter of peace with the Anglo-Americans. Some of the leaders did not understand such his convictions and considered him a coward. American Horse has always prioritized the safety of the Oglala people, not the service of the United States. Throughout his life, he maintained influence in the tribe, showing the qualities of an orator and diplomat. As a representative of the Oglala, he visited Washington, where he met with the President of the United States. In 1887, General George Crook and a federal commission visited the Oglala to try to persuade them to give up most of their South Dakota lands in exchange for a new reservation and other promised benefits. During the negotiations, American Horse, using his talent as an orator, persuaded Crook to accept the conditions of the tribe, to which Crook remarked that he, American Horse, was a better speaker than any of us. As the religion of the Indian prophet Lovoka, the so-called Dance of Spirits, spread on the Sioux reservations, theft of Indian agents, as a result of which the Sioux starved, the situation escalated and led to an armed clash with the troops and police. Stepping between the angry tribesmen and the police, American Horse said, You are brave today, but what will you do tomorrow? Soldiers will come and our people will be finished. The son of Red Cloud, Jack Red Cloud, who was among them, rebuked the American Horse, said, It is you and people like you who have led our people to slavery and starvation. After the Spirit Dance Rebellion on the Sioux Reservations was suppressed in 1890, American Horse went to the Pine Ridge Reservation to save his tribe, where they escaped punishment. The following year, he led a Sioux delegation to Washington in the hope of enlisting government support for a better life for his people. Negotiations with government officials for the Sioux went fairly well, and the delegation returned elated. But all the promises made by the U.S. Oglala Sioux government were ignored on the ground. American Horse died at Pine Ridge, South Dakota on December 16, 1908 at the age of 76. He passed away as a colorful figure, a well-known representative of the Sioux people, who did not allow the complete destruction of the tribe.